Uh, the Irish were out in force yesterday to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, and I think it's safe to say there are one or two sore heads out there this morning. Not perhaps. here, Tommy, not here. Nutritionist Heather Leeson <laughs> joins us. With the hope of curing your dreaded hangover, stand by. Here it comes. Good morning, Professional Heather. to the last two. Absolutely. Yeah, we've got some tips, uh, Heather. Now, you've got a few tips of what to do the night before. Without wanting to say it's closing the stable door after the horse has bolted, perhaps for people this morning. But let, let's maybe just go through them anyway. Yeah, and without sounding preachy, prevention yeah. is always better than cure. <laughs> but if you were going to a wedding or something, you yeah. know you're going to be on the lash. A couple of things, three yeah. things. Eat something. Do not drink on an empty stomach. Uh, Eaton's cheating. Heather. Eaton's cheating, I know. But you're going to absorb the alcohol more quickly and mm -hmm. it's an irritant to your gut lining. So some of those lovely nauseous feelings that you get, that is because your gut is being irritated. So put a bit of food in there okay. first. Any particular food? Snack Stodge? Box. Fat. Fat. Fat is great. Snack so box Danny for absorb. Fat Yes, we're loving this item already. I was thinking already. an avocado, but you know, on bread well, yeah. but you know. Well, you can have an avocado with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> probably most important, though, is hydration. Hydration, hydration. Get right. some water into you while you're out. So in between your pints or whatever you're drinking, have a glass of water and keep yourself hydrated because most of the symptoms of the hangover are mm, dehydration. Just dehydration. Yeah, you see a lot more people doing that nowadays, particularly in restaurants that have a glass of water with their wine yeah. and a half and half, keep yeah. going, keep mm. going. Yeah. That's what it's all about. It yeah. really helps. Yeah, yeah. All right. and slow yourself okay, down. Okay, listen, that's fine. Okay, <laughs> sensible and all that. People this morning now who are struggling, let's get on to them. Let's give a bit of, a bit of help to the nation. Okay, well, there is no miracle cure is the bad news. Oh. No miracle cure. What are you in for? Um, time, time is probably the only one. Now, I've heard a few weird ones. Pickle juice, pickle juice, pickled herring is another one. Really? And, you know, it kind of does make sense because some of the minerals in them are good for rebalancing what you've lost. But I think you'd need to be in the full of your health to try that mm. even. So there are a few things that you can do if you're sitting on the sofa and not feeling great. And again, hydrate. Drink yeah. something. Water or something like coconut water, which is full of electrolytes. They're the minerals that have been okay. flushed out while you've been drinking. So something like coconut water is a replacement for the old uh, diorolite, which some people might know. You know, you yeah. get to babies yeah. with diarrhea, but it's actually also a sort of a hangover Tommy cure. So it. putting those electrolytes in. That's why I'm always really in top form in the morning in here. And if you can't even face that, something like hot water with a bit of ginger in it right. is really helpful too. Not caffeine, though. Right. Not caffeine. That's the first thing most people do is. Yeah. Coffee, tea. Yeah, it's, it it's a diuretic. So and you're painkillers as well. You're saying, Heather. <laughs> Yeah, watch them. Your poor liver, depending, of course, on how much you've drunk, but your yeah. liver is working really hard right. to clear the alcohol. Paracetamol, that has to be processed by your liver as well, so avoid. Aspirin might make you feel a little bit better, but it can be hard on the stomach. It's an anti-inflammatory, but it can make you feel a little bit sick if you're well, Just on there. the caffeine one, that was because it's a dehydration as well. It's so a it's diuretic, just, yeah, so you're yeah, just, okay. you know, compounding that diuretic. In fat. terms of what you might eat, again, the snack box is yours. <clears throat> Excellent option. It's been ordered as well. What, 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 is good, what is a good thing to eat? Eggs are great. Right. They have an amino acid in them called cysteine, which helps your liver to process alcohol. So something like poached eggs, scrambled eggs with a bit of brown bread and spinach or tomato, something like that. You're hitting a few um, nutrients there that you need. You're also helping blood sugar, mm. giving your energy a boost because you get yeah. this rebound low blood sugar after you've been drinking and you're going to be really tired if you don't put something in there. So mm. a mixture so of fat, are, protein, carbs, yeah. really good. And yeah. you've got a super smoothie for us. I do have a super, super smoothie. Hangover so there are smoothie. some nutrients that are particularly good to help they're not miracle cures, but they're going to help you. Um, one of them is the coconut water that I've talked about. Right. Really helpful to hydrate you and to give you those electrolytes. A couple of other things. Ginger. Brilliant for nausea. Now, not just hangover-related nausea. And I should say that this smoothie is also great. If you've been doing exercise, you might want to put a bit more protein into it, some almonds and some protein powder. But this is also great. So you're putting in some fresh ginger. And you can just peel that with a spoon really mm -hmm. easy. And actually, if you buy fresh ginger, peel it, stick it in the freezer, and then just take it out and grate it. Use it from frozen. It's brilliant. I'm going to put in um, an avocado as well. Now, I want a nice green smoothie with the Patrick's Day theme. But avocado, like banana, which I'm also using, has potassium in it. So that's going to help replace some of the minerals that you've lost and it's got some B vitamins as well. Lovely fat too to help stabilise blood sugar. Yeah. Smells nice. And banana. So banana high in potassium like the avocado. So it's going to replace some of those minerals, give you a little bit of natural sugar, so natural energy boost. Now pineapple. 
It's got vitamin C, but it's also got an enzyme called bromelain in it, which is an anti-inflammatory, helps digestion. And I've, what I've done is I've peeled this and I've left the core in. There's more of the enzyme in the core. Ah, so you can right. just process that. I know it doesn't taste very much nice if you're eating pineapple, but actually really good to use in a smoothie. So I'm throwing in about a cup and a half of pineapple, some greens, some nice spinach to give you some vitamin mm, C and other I'll antioxidants like vitamin A and a squeeze of lime juice, a little bit more vitamin C, and you're just giving a little bit of pop of flavour and then throwing in coconut my water. coconut water. And again, as you said earlier, this is something if you're if you're working out in the gym or if you're doing a bit of exercise, it's just all about rehydrating, getting those yeah. minerals back into your body. Really brilliant for that, absolutely. And how much, how much coconut well, you're, you know, the aim of the game here is to get as much liquid into you as, as possible. As you so I probably use about 250 mil okay. per person blended up. Now you can put some protein powder in, you can put in something like a green powder, Maybe not if you're feeling a little bit fragile. Yeah. Now, excuse the noise here. I'm going to blend it up a little bit. Max power. Max power. <laughs> Ooh, my head. Wow. You're the pink star, the blue star. Now, I use spinach I'm confident actually, in my masculinity. instead of kale here. Kale is great as well, but it does take a little bit more blending, so right. it doesn't make for great TV. So I've got here now at right. home. Why, I would why change what we were doing all morning? <laughs> at home, I would blend it a bit more so you wouldn't have the green flecks. But this is really nice and fresh. And if you use frozen pineapple or frozen spinach, it gives a lovely um, texture to it. Yeah, really nice have and fresh. Have a taste there. It's a little bit lumpy. Best look. Excuse me. <laughs> no, no, this is a hangover you get cured the lovely pink in a bottle. Go for it. How is that? Oh, I feel, feel better already. Feel, feel like very much better. Into you. <laughs>